When it comes to weddings, everybody wants to walk the aisle in style. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? I'm the boss, I run the show, and that's how it's gonna be. 2,000. No. 2,000. No. no, that's Come it. Come on! I'm not willing to accept what you just said. Mom, I can't even move in this. Laurie, come on, Matt, open up here. Weddings are a chance to shine. Weddings are a tight timeline. Weddings are a bank account that's in decline. Meet Lori, Beth, and Charisma. Just married. Every part of their wedding was planned with high hopes, but was their budget as great as their expectations? Let's take a look at what happened along the way to their big day. My name is Lori Beth. I'm 25 years old, and I'm a real estate agent. I met Charisma five years ago at a mutual friends party. When he accepted my daughter as his own, I realized I want to marry him. I always get what I want. And this is the story of our amazing wedding day. Well, Lori Beth knew exactly what she wanted, so let's find out if she was able to make her dream a reality. Our wedding day was beautiful. It was off the chain. It was everything I hoped for and more. We had a good time, man. And the only regret is that that day went by. Quick, what did you say? Yeah, quick yeah. and perfect but not without a helping hand. I don't know how to bust in my dress. Okay, we'll figure that out. The planning of the wedding at first, uh, we thought we could take care of it and handle it ourselves. I'm yeah. <laughs> we definitely need someone who would take care of everything for us, especially in terms of itinerary. Enter wedding planner Karina Lemke. With 10 years experience, was she able to turn Lori Beth's every wish into her command? When it comes to Lori Beth and Charisma's wedding, my job is to make sure that Lori Beth, the bride, gets everything that she wants. So Lori Beth and Charisma, I'm hoping that you can tell me a little bit about your dream wedding. A wedding on an island where all my guests can fly in and be taken care of. Okay, and Lori Beth? Not on an island <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, something that's local so that all of my family and friends can come. Okay, so why don't you tell me about what you've actually done or what you're hoping to do with, with your actual wedding. We originally wanted to have the 50 people and we had booked a venue for 70, which was okay. And then the mother-in-law came in and said she had all these guests she wanted to invite and we changed it and then we had to change the location of the venues again because apparently we're not having all these 300 people. So now we're at 180, which is not what I want anyways, but... Here we are, 180 people. So in terms of price per head, have you been quoted on that? Do you know what that's running? It's 135 per plate. Okay, and what does that include? I've got a seven course meal. Okay, wow. Deluxe bar. Okay, because nothing says tacky like a cash spread. bar. <laughs> exactly. Are your parents paying? Are they financially contributing to the wedding or is this all being taken care of by you? I mean, her parents are paying, my parents are paying, she's paying, I'm paying. I'm not troubled in the least for spending so much money. I said, I want everybody to enjoy themselves, and this wedding is very, very important for me. Mm -hmm. So describe for me how you would like the decor to look. No chair covers, mm -hmm. <laughs> only chocolate brown linens for sure, and pink, beautiful flowers just all over the table, and pink accents here and there. Oh, it's gonna look so nice. Pink? Yeah. I'm the bride, and I want things my way. No, I'm not really feeling the pink, no. No, pink and chocolate brown. Lori Beth is very much a demanding bride. I'm a demanding person, never mind a demanding bride. You can count on that. Um, in terms of your wedding dress, do you have any ideas for that? Has that been purchased? My mom has an idea for me. And that is? It's the poofy princess, all white. Look, it's not, totally not what I want. Lori Beth might turn a little bit difficult. I think she has very, very high expectations of what her day ultimately will be, and I hope that I'm able to fulfill that for her. I know that you've worked out a little bit of a budget so far. Um, do you mind sharing that with me? Should I be afraid? Okay. Coming up. This is it. I don't want to hear any arguments. I don't want to hear, I don't want to do this. Blah, blah, blah. This is how it's going to be. <laughs> it took about six months to save enough money to put a down payment on a house. 
And finally I proposed to her and uh, she said yes. Yes, I'll only marry you if you buy me a house, that's what I said. That's right, so I bought your house. <laughs> when it comes to spending money on a wedding, it's all about striking a balance between a bride's desires and her budget. I'm the bride and I want things my way. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on the total cost of Lori Beth and Charisma's determination. My mom was paying for my dress and she wanted me to buy a very traditional white wedding dress, which is so not what I wanted. Did you want to stay within any price range? I don't know, that's up to my mom. Maybe I should ask mom. Well, I'm going as much as 1500 but that's 1500? it. 1500 Well, 2000 No. 2000 Nope, that's Come it. Come on! Careful, Lori Beth. I wouldn't bite the hand that dresses you. I think a white would be perfect. No, I, I'm not wearing white. Just try I'm not. It. I'm not wearing white. I don't like white. Can you just at least try? I don't one? like white. I think the white is traditional, perfect. Okay. I want something other than white. Like, Are you wearing it, Mom? No, but I would like to see you in white. Like, I don't want to wear white. Well, you can't blame a mother for trying. Mom, I can't even move in this. <laughs> I don't, this is not nice. What is this? What's the price for this one, Gabby? It's $1,100. It's more. It's like $2,000. I'm pretty sure I saw the tag. You know, that stare won't change the price. Next. I don't like this. I, I don't like, like this at all. I don't like it either. I don't like this. What? What is this? That's like fun fur. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Next. No white. Next. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, that's beautiful. That beautiful. Nice. I like this one. This is, this is oh, perfect, gorgeous. except I don't like the white. It's a beautiful, beautiful dress. dress. Oh, like. This is come in ivory or something, or not white? I do have a, another dress in ivory like this one. It's a little bit big, but at least you can see what the color's like. How much is this dress? That dress is $9.99. <gasps> and victory! You know, every mother wants their daughter to walk up the aisle in a nice white dress, lily white dress. I had the brunch meetings with the bridesmaids and the regular emails being sent out because they needed to be in check. But was this a brunch or a board meeting? A couple of rules and a must for the bridesmaids. Up dues except for Tracy. Only because Tracy has this kinky hair. French manicures for everybody. French manicure, French manicure. And French manicure on your toes as well for everyone. Sure. I know you don't do your nails, but French manicure. We have five weeks left. This is it. I need your 150% at this point. I don't want to hear any arguments. I don't want to hear, I don't want to do this, or I want to do this another way, or blah, blah, blah. This is how it's going to be. Right. <laughs> at least mom's laughing. I'm going to send you all your emails. You're going to listen. You're going to, excuse me. <laughs> you're going to respond. Right. And you're going to make sure that you can meet all the dates. That's that. We, we have, have a, choice. a choice. No, I'm the boss. I run the show, and that's how it's gonna be. The thing is, is that she's family, and we know how she is. She knows what she wants, so when she wants it, then she'll get it. I wanted to pick something that was pleasing for all of them. I didn't want it looking like maids' dresses. I wanted boobs. I wanted butt. I wanted it to be slinky. I just wanted it to look hot. How much were these dresses again? Uh, three fifty. That's what these dresses cost. Oh my yeah. Are you guys okay with that? <laughs> We're fine. We're yes. fine. You sure? Yes. yes. Can I pay for alterations? Alterations for us are included in the price. Oh. I'm fine. Okay. Nice. These girls look hot. Okay, you guys have to be really, really comfortable with the cups because I want to see pure tits. <laughs> Cleavage. This is a T and A dress, so we have to wear it like a T and A dress. <laughs> no, but you're putting it over. Can you make it like so that it looks like that? Together. Like a little closer? My bridesmaid's boobs on the day of the wedding looked popping. They looked hot, I was happy, and they all looked nice and full and juicy. Voluptuous. We wanted to make sure that we didn't go somewhere that we had no idea where we were going because the food was really important for us. Are you happy with your choice? I was upset with my steak. 
Why? Because I do not eat well done steak, steak at all. Okay. Like it's like medi rare to medium rare. Okay. Across the board, most of the steaks were cooked different. It's just a little hard for 300 people Take to start requests going from medium yeah, well. Yeah. And usually oh no, it's just... but if we were to request, say now, one type of way to cook it, then could you cook it that one type Absolutely. of way? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so because I think can. that would be better. Like, sure. You can't, you know, I'll tell you one thing, you can't have rare or medium rare for everybody. But... No, exactly. medium, I think medium is just fine for everybody. I think more than medium is overdoing it. By the time they exactly. eat it, it's going to be like rubber. Yeah. So yeah. for those people yeah. who are extremely upset with it, they can request to have another one. And for yes. those people who like it that way, we'll just eat it, right? Sure. We have no problem doing that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And at no extra no, cost? No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. I understood you didn't like the wine. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's fine. Is there a better. price difference in between this one and the other one that we had originally? Um, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that this is going to be just a couple of dollars, but not mm -hmm. much. But this is a much nicer wine mm -hmm. than the other one. Of course, everything is according to price. Yes, but who was paying the price? <laughs> it was definitely money well spent. And we had a seven-course meal. Everything was delicious. But the dinner was fabulous. I hated every minute of flower shopping. My mom was paying for the flowers, and she actually wanted to keep within a budget as well. She was told that this person is really, 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 really cheap. As soon as I walked in, I'm like, no way, this can't be the store. <laughs> what is that? You can tell him what to put inside, what to take out. We can put more greens in it, yeah? No. He can make the arrangements for you as if you tell him how to do them. I don't like it at all. Look. With that flower shop, he gives out a lot of flowers for his budget, but in terms of quality, quality wasn't there. Good thing Karina was ready to dig in and lend her green thumb. So the original figure was $59.35, and that included all of your personal flowers, all of the church flowers, all of your reception flowers, including a very elaborate head table display, and it included delivery and setup. Too bad for Charisma's parents. The only green that was uprooted was their $3,500 budget. You mind you thinking $3,000 because that dude said $300,000, but he's not. He only said $3,000 for the flowers, not for everything else. If you want to do it for less, you're still getting exactly the same personal flowers because those are her bouquets and corsages and boutonnieres, and you don't want to skimp on those because they're in every single photo. But we'll make it probably just a little bit smaller. And we use the same flowers. We use the roses, and we use the, the viburnum, which Lori Beth loves, and we use the lisianthus and the peonies. But that's including everything. So what, what do you think, Dad? If you want to cut further, it means that you have to compromise the style. There really aren't too many places to cut. Happy? They don't look happy. Yeah. <laughs> I want happy faces. Yeah? So Karina's working with us. Yay, yay. Had Charisma's mother not budged on the flowers, I honestly think that there wouldn't be a wedding. Coming up. Miss Karina, come here, Lor. I hear you're not getting married because your hair didn't work out. All I got was some tea towels my mother gave me. It would be nice to get some nice presents <laughs> to start off. We were so poor, we had nothing. Uh, in fact, the next day, my sister, if she had rosemary, if it hadn't brought me some hamburgers that day, we wouldn't have had anything to eat. <laughs> when you're putting together a wedding, sometimes it feels like everything is spinning out of control. What is that? At the end of the show, we'll let you in on how much it costs Lori Beth and Charisma to get a All grip right. on their wedding day. And that's how it's going to be. And with Lori Beth cracking the wedding whip, had our couple forgotten anything? Oh, yeah. To make sure their groomsmen knew where to go and when. There were a couple of concerns that came up on the rehearsal date. The groomsmen were late, and this really worried me because I, I wasn't quite sure if they were going to make it to church on time. Processional is technically starting now. Do we have? No, we don't have any more men. Do we know where the rest of the groomsmen are? Yeah. Still on the highway. We have to be out of here in a few minutes, though, because I've got another wedding to rehearse after this. Remember your position, because you're going to have to guide the guys since they're not here. Finally, the guys showed up. Hey, how are you, Renell? But it looks like the theme of this wedding is going to be bad timing. And that's not the only thing that didn't go as planned. The problem is that because we ordered late, this is what came in, this is what should have come in. It's just for her bouquet. The other flowers are fine okay. for everything. So does this Laura, I'm not willing to accept what you just said. <laughs> but this is, I mean, this is what happens when you order late. That's not my bouquet. Okay. Um, another idea was to use this sort of thing for your bouquet, use the pink roses for your no. bouquet. No, 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 not even an option. Okay, she doesn't like roses. Like roses. No. 
Oh, it's plan B. Think of another pink flower. I don't want plan B. You have, you have, have, to, you have to, to do it. It's either that or purple. You can't have purple. It causes me sleepless nights when I think that a bride is not going to get the flowers that she wants for her bouquet. We need weeks and weeks to order flowers. In this case, the orders just went in too late, and it's been a real challenge trying to get the right amount of stock for her. I do have peonies secured for you in a blush color, which is lighter than this. It's more of a white. It's very pretty. I would suggest using that with maybe a little bit of the soft pink that we're using in the bridesmaids' bouquets. Yeah, just do that. You're sure? Positive. Are you feeling better? Better. Yes. Yay! Timing is everything, even for a princess. On the wedding day, I woke up late. By the time I got out of the bed, it was quarter to eight. I'm supposed to be at the hairdressers at eight. Glory Beth, where are you? Oh, she answered? Wow. Okay, well, hurry. Okay, you gotta hurry because I got the other bride coming in, eh? Yeah, well, she can be here at nine. Okay, hurry. Bye. Should be here soon. At least the groom can tell time. All right. You have the rings, you have everything? You have the ring? Um, I'm not supposed to have them. Okay, do you have it, everything? Yeah, man. All right, all right. With the groom on his way, let's hope Lori Beth remembers the ceremony starts at 12 o'clock. I got to the hairdressers at 8.35. The hairdresser did my hair. I went home. I hated it. Lori Beth? She's in the Lori? Lori? It's Karina. Come here, Lori. I hear you're not getting married because your hair didn't work out. Lori, come on, Matt. Open up here. Oh. Hickory dickory dock. It's time to beat the clock. You're getting married in 15 minutes, girlfriend. Hurry up. I'm just anxiously waiting for my soon-to-be wife to arrive and get this started. Well, Charisma, looks like you're not the only one waiting. You were supposed to start a bar right now. I'm going to watch. <laughs> OK. You can't rush any more than what we're doing I'm right now. Gonna... I am going to kill her. I love her to pieces. She's great, but I'm going to kill her. She is so late, it is not even funny. She's not even, like, a little bit late. She's, like, a lot late. It's, like, 12.15 right now, and the problem is there's another wedding right after this one. I've got a little anxious priest down at the front going, I got a wedding, I got a wedding, I got another wedding. There's going to be another wedding. When's the wedding going to come? It's getting really, it's just too much. It's too much. Coming up. Lori Beth today didn't need a wedding planner. She needed a watch. You didn't think I was going to show up. Well, I was wondering, because she was late. But that, no. I, I think that's No, normal. no, I, uh, well, I wasn't really late. Well. I was just having an argument with my brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to weddings, every do counts, even if it's your hairdo. I hear you're not getting married because your hair didn't work out. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter the budget, is it ever enough? Soon you'll find out the price tag attached to Lori Beth and Charisma's big day. 35 minutes later, she showed up. Yo, oh, thank God. If it was not your wedding, oh I would slap you so hard. That princess tiara, it's okay, it's okay. so coming out. I'm sorry. Everything's well? Everything's good. Cool. Let's get it running. Let's get it going. Don't be sorry to me because there's another wedding with a big, ugly archway covered in white tulle, and they're coming to put it in at 1 o'clock right in the middle of your wedding. Oh, you are so freaking beautiful and so freaking late, and I could kill you, but I'm going to kiss you instead. Oh, thank oh. God you're here. I thought Father was going to cancel on us, but I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. From the moment that Karina opened up those church doors, all these emotions poured into me, and I started crying. I had these butterflies, <laughs> feelings of nervousness all running through my body. It was just like, wow. I will love, honor, honor, and cherish you. And cherish you. I promise to be true to you for the days of my life. Phew, that was close. Lori Beth almost missed making it to Mrs. And the poor bride after her was turned into a lady in waiting. The other bride needed to be called and ended up waiting in a limo around the corner. Lori Beth and Charisma were so lucky that the delay didn't end up costing them anything extra at the church. Lori Beth today didn't need a wedding planner, she needed a watch. But at least our diva didn't miss her curtain call. And with the snap of her fingers, dinner was served. The steak was cooked to perfection, and our couple basked in the light of their love. Tonight, there's something I won't forget for the rest of my life. And here's one more thing that you won't forget. The bill. Well, the original budget we got given to Karina was $35,000. My dress was perfect. It was a gift from my mom. 
with veil and alterations it came to $1,381, but for me it was free. Uh, the flowers and the decor was beautiful. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, the cost of it was $6,560. And it was a gift for my mom. Uh, so for us, it was free. The cake was incredible. And it fit perfectly with our color scheme. The total cost for this was $730. Uh, working with Karina was great. And uh, her wedding planner fee was $1,600. The venue was perfect. The cost for food and alcohol was $24,300. Additional cost, including photographer, DJ, and transportation came to $15,897. What we actually spent was $42,527. So, which means that we were over budget by $7,527. $7,527. Not bad for one night, eh? The cake was cut, the bouquet was tossed, and their budget nixed. The only question left how much charisma does it take to tame Lori Beth? He uh, sold his motorcycle and uh, he actually rented a car the next day so we could go uh, driving around town for, that was our honeymoon. My parents like to have the odd drink where her parents... Odd drink? <laughs> Mark.